Yeah, I've got to do some machine changer stuff now. Um, I've not really talked much about uh, the Power Ranger stuff or the Super Sentai or any of the past video blogs. It's more been about Kamen Rider, um, some of the Expo stuff. So we're going to start off today with a bit of machine changer updates. Um, I've not watched much of the series at all. Um, it's only been in the last two weeks where I've seen the gold uh, uh, see, I've came right on the brain, haven't I? Uh, the gold Shinkanger, who is Genta, um, who turned up about oh, I can't remember how many weeks ago this was now. It's got to be a couple. It's got to be at least a good month and a half ago. Turned up Shinkan Gold. Um, used his new um, Megazord combo, which was oh, it's actually not a combo really. It's just one single Zord which was like this lobster zord type thing. Um, so he's used that and um, we've just recently seen, and I'll show you in this video next, um, that he's also managed to provide a power up for the team. Um, I think it was said that he did a lot of, he basically worked his ass off for the rest of the team so they could actually have this power up. I mean, he doesn't actually get to use it, but if you look in the clip, You'll notice that the guy won't actually need his power up, he's that fucking fast. That um, he probably won't even need it. So yeah, uh, Gens provided the, firstly the red uh, Shinkanger, uh, Shinken Ranger, well yeah it is Shinkanger, yeah. Shinken Red, that's his name. With power up, uh, which is basically, um, it looks like a ceremonial coat with a bit of armor padding. Um, to given this boosted power. It's a bit like the Battleizers in Power Rangers. Uh, we've seen over in the last Sentais and stuff over the last few years, we've seen a few power-ups that they've used. Uh, namely, Magi Ranger had the Legend Modes. Um, <coughs> Geki Ranger had the Super Geki Ranger forms. We didn't get one for Gonga, um, but we've got it back. We've got a power-up back in uh, Shinkanger, which is super Shinkan form, um, and it's basically like I said, it's like a big long ceremonial coat with a bit of padding on, which is great for me because I'm going to be on about this in a second. Um, I'm actually starting work on a Shinkan red custom, so I'm actually quite impressed with this. Um, so I'll show you that after this clip. <laughs> that kind of cool isn't it a bit different but uh, you know hopefully the fans are going to like that um, you know they're not going to slag it off and go oh we need a better power and then oh it's not that good mm. well you know it depends on what the the guys in uh, the producing Shinkanger uh, decide on okay so yeah like I said just before that clip I'm working on a Shinkan red costume so far I've only managed to get the um, I've got the gauntlets done. I'll just show you these first. They're not like proper gauntlets and they do need a little bit of work to tidy them up. Um, such as around the Velcro areas. 
this is going to be fun to show you really. But uh, so yeah, these Velcro bits need gluing now. But yeah, I've got uh, I've got the gauntlets done. I'll show you a bit close up. That's what they look like. They're actually quite neat, really. I was actually quite surprised how well these came out. The problem is I've got to do some foam padding on the inside to keep that material in there nice and neatly. And also, like I said, glue those bits of Velcro down because they're, they're like sticky sticky Velcro patches uh, with a little bit of, of adhesive on the back. So yeah, I've got the one that numbers. That fits on there. It does look a bit big, but it does fit me quite well. And I've also got the boots done. Now these were my SPD boots, my SPD red boots, um, which were actually Superman boots with like a little weird fin at the top. I've cut that off and I've put the, uh, the black stripe around there. It looks actually quite neat when it's done. And also got a belt on. So that's all I've really done on that at the moment. Um, yep, I've got some more stuff to talk about. I've only got two minutes to do it in, so I better hurry up. Um, Expo updates. Uh, if you have a look on the forum, that's where the link is. Um, you'll see that we're getting ready for Expo. We've only got about mm, six, seven weeks before Expo. We're trying to get as much done as possible. Um, now if Clover has issued the, uh, the membership applications, head of UKR, deputy head, and I think there's an administrative role as well. Um, yeah, I'll put the link below for his video just here. And also on that, those little clicky bars, so you can actually click on it and go straight to it. See, so I'm going to watch the rest of this video. Um, website info, we've got a new website set up at the moment. Here's the link below. Me and Ollie are working on that one at the moment. Uh, forum stuff, um, well, there's not much happening this uh, couple of weeks. We're still working on getting all the communicators sorted. Um, and I think me and Retro are going to be working on some armour soon. Uh, one minute to go. Signing off then. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If it might have been a bit too quick, don't worry. I'm going to be doing another one in a couple of days' time uh, with a few more updates. Uh, so, yeah, this has been an official UKR video blog for YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next week. ある限り戦え。たとえ孤独でも。